On what remains of Genoa's Morandi Bridge, vehicles seem to be frozen in time, left where they were abandoned moments after the bridge collapsed on Tuesday. The driver of this truck managed to stop just meters from the edge. Others were not so lucky. In difficult conditions, emergency workers continue to search for survivors. We have big pieces of the, of the bridge that collapsed and now we are using big cranes to move those big pieces and to, to try to enter the rubbles again in search for the victims. Police aren't letting anyone who's not involved in this rescue operation to go down this road. They have also evacuated hundreds of people who are living in the area because there are still concerns over the safety of the bridge and whether some parts of it may still collapse. When I realised the bridge had fallen down, like everyone in Genoa, I felt as if a part of me had vanished. It's unclear why the 50-year-old bridge collapsed, but some people in the city had questioned its safety. This former independent senator warned of the risks as recently as two years ago. We learned there were structural problems with the bridge. The motorway operator needed to carry out more maintenance, but also the transport ministry should have been checking. After visiting the city, Italy's prime minister declared a state of emergency and said the motor operator in charge of the bridge was to blame. These are tragedies which are unacceptable in modern society. They shouldn't happen. This government will do its utmost to avoid tragedies like this happening in the future. We have plans in place to take action against the companies managing the motorways. The Italian government says it will now inspect the structure of ageing bridges and tunnels across the country. It's unclear though whether that will be enough to calm fears in a city where people have been deeply shaken. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Genoa, Italy.